Hi everyone. Today we're going to be working on learning to identify inscribed and circumscribed figures, as well as identify, name, describe polygons. So what is a polygon? You probably have heard that word before, and it actually comes from the Greek language, meaning many angles. And what are the characteristics of angles? So earlier in geometry, we learned that angles consist of two sides that share an initial point, and that point is called the vertex. Okay, so a polygon is a two-dimensional figure that consists of three or more segments, and those segments are called the sides, and they meet at a vertex. And no two sides are collinear, and each side intersects exactly two other sides, one at each endpoint. So let's take a look at some figures. Okay, so we can have inscribed polygons. Here we have an inscribed triangle inside of the circle. So this, the circle is circumscribed. It's outside of our polygon. Here we have an inscribed quadrilateral. And what do you notice? What you should notice is that the vertices of these polygons lie on the circle. So an inscribed polygon is a polygon whose vertices lie on a circle. And a circumscribed circle is a circle that contains an inscribed polygon. And now you should be asking yourself, well, can we insert any polygon in a circle? So can any polygon be inscribed? Well, there are certain criteria that must be met in order for the polygon to be inscribed. For instance, we have this small figure here. I can move this figure around and if you recall the name of a six-figure, six-sided figure, it is called a hexagon. And this hexagon is too small to be inscribed. Not all vertices fall inside of the circle, in the circumference of the circle, I should say. How about this quadrilateral here? It's tempting to call it a square, but not knowing if the sides are equal to each other and the angles equal to each other, then we can't really call it a square. Again, this quadrilateral is too small. How about this triangle? This triangle can be an inscribed triangle because it's inside of the circle and all vertices fall in the circumference. How about this five-sided figure? The five-sided figure is called a pentagon. Looks like this pentagon also fits inside of the circle with the vertices on the circumference. So judging this star and this other figure that seems to have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides, so an octagon. Judging by the sides of these two figures, they won't be inscribed. How about this other equilateral? Mm, almost, but not quite. I would have to stretch this out a little bit more for this quadrilateral to fit. Okay, so it's important to know what would fit in, in the circle, which polygon would fit. Okay, so this is a quadrilateral. And if I elongate this and try to fit it, you'll start to notice that there's a, one of the vertices is not going to touch the circumference. And this is the case of a parallelogram. Okay? No matter what I do, a parallelogram is not going to be inscribed in a circle. How 
How about a trapezoid? A trapezoid is another type of quadrilateral. Okay, that one fits. All the vertices are on the circle. Okay, this looks like a rhombus. It could be a kite. Um, and it looks like it's falling a little short of fitting in. Okay, so you get the idea of what it means to inscribe a polygon. Now let's try to name the different types of polygons. Okay, so we can have convex polygons and we can have concave polygons. What is the difference that you notice between the convex polygons and the concave polygons here? You should notice that the interior angles of the concave polygons, they're all greater than 180 degrees. Okay, so we're looking at any one interior angle. As long as one interior angle is greater than 180 degrees, we have a concave polygon. So for instance, this arrow here, these angles appear to be 90 degrees, definitely less than 180 degrees. However, this angle here is greater than 180 degrees. Okay, so if we have a polygon with three sides, we know this shape fairly well. We worked a lot with it in geometry. This is, these are triangles, four sides, quadrilaterals, five sides, pentagon, six sides is a hexagon, and eight sides, octagon. Okay, now let's talk a little about this shape here. This shape, as you can see, all the sides are the same, and so are the angle measurements. When you have a polygon that has all equal sides and all equal angles, we call that a regular polygon. Now, if you notice these shapes here at the bottom right corner, we have a circle. We have what appears to be a quadrilateral. However, instead of vertices, we have this little curvature instead of corners. Here, we also have a curvature. And here, we also have a curvature. So whenever you have at least one part of the figure that is not a straight line or a straight side, then you no longer have a polygon. Okay, I hope you found this uh, video helpful on the different ways to identify and name polygons.